It is Easter Sunday, April 20th. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. We do have some severe weather to talk about. It's brought some heavy rain to parts of Texas. Now we're looking at more severe weather across Missouri, even parts of Arkansas today. And then as we head into the rest of the week, we've got a, a lot of things to talk about. So we're going to look at that. Look at this heavy rain that we saw yesterday across Texas and last night. Big storms going here, big rains. I mean, just a ton of moisture. All of this driving to the east today and that's going to increase our severe weather threat in other areas. You can see copious amounts of moisture moving north. Behind this, some colder, drier air up into here. This will combine with this system to create some snow around the Great Lakes. So it's a really interesting to see. Plus, cold air, too, um, in here into the northern Rockies with some more snow on the way. Here's that bowling ball of cold air that we're watching on this Easter Sunday that continues to drive off to the north and east. Out ahead of it here, good diffluence. Everything's spreading out aloft. So... All the ingredients coming together for a severe weather day today. Again, across Missouri, down into Arkansas, that's the highest risk, but they could be pretty strong, even as far north as southern parts of Iowa, Illinois, and then as far south as Texas, Texarkana. Another big problem today, not just severe weather, we're talking about tornadoes. So you have that low-level wind shear, good support aloft. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has hashed this area out from central Missouri all the way down to about Little Rock, for a significant risk of severe thunderstorms that are capable of producing tornadoes today. And that tornado risk extends all the way down here into East Texas and as far north. We've talked about that up into Southeast Iowa. There could be some rotating storms as well through the afternoon. Now, where is all this going, right? So we're dealing with this today. Once we move into tonight, it moves toward the Great Lakes. This area of low pressure is actually going to start to weaken. So that severe risk further south, nothing like what we're going to see today heading into tomorrow. Everything flattens out. It gets sheared out. Your low pressure moves toward southeast Canada. And then we're going to deal with a little bit of snow up here in the parts of Ontario. That moves off to the east. And then a little bit more uh, rain on the way for the south. Now, here's the deal. This isn't going to be a severe weather outbreak as your front stalls out here. Everything flattens out. And now we're just dealing with some pesky rain showers. That's, I guess, good compared to the severe weather we're seeing right now. And then we stay quite unsettled this week. So this looks like kind of a wet week. April showers are going to be abundant across the country. Uh, and then some cold air here in the mountains where there could be some snow. And look at all of this rain heading into Saturday. So get ready for a wet week. If you need to mow that yard, do it before the rain comes because you may be stuck a while in the rain. Let's track these storms heading into this afternoon and this evening. I'm going to back it up because they really get going into the afternoon here across parts of Oklahoma, East Texas. These start to drive north. A lot of wind shear here. Winds coming in at the surface, feeding into these storms and aloft, everything moving this way. So a lot of wind shear, not just tornadoes, but also damaging winds and some hail possible with these storms. By the time we get into the evening hours, we're looking at central Missouri, moving very close to places like Hot Springs, moving through Little Rock, north up into central Missouri, now moving towards St. Louis once we get toward 9, 10 o'clock tonight. These storms probably will start to weaken by this point, but there is going to be some strong storms embedded in this, even as far north as Illinois and Iowa. This continues to push off to the east, getting very close to Memphis once we get toward the midnight hour. And then these do start to trend downward much weaker as they move into Tennessee. Now we're just dealing with some showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder. I think there could be an isolated strong storm within this front somewhere. And then you could see your front dropping to the east, moving into Virginia, West Virginia, down into Tennessee, just some showers here. Otherwise, the severe weather at this point, pretty much over here, a hot Easter across the southeast today with temperatures in the 80s. Not quite so around the Great Lakes. We're cold, cold enough that as this storm moves north with the severe weather to the south, there's going to be some snow mixing in here into parts of northern Wisconsin and the UP of Michigan. It's going to be really tough to see the snow mix in. You can see how it's a rain-snow mix. Eventually, we will start to see things transition over to more of a snow late tonight into early Monday morning. So, yeah, winter holding on tight here. And look, as this moves here uh, into Ontario, a lot of cold air aloft generating quite a bit of snow, so a spring snow on the way here uh, in Canada. Uh, here into the, into the States, we're dealing with warm air surging north ahead of this low. Temperatures across Michigan warming up into the mid-60s, close to 70 as we head into Monday afternoon and Monday evening. But there's the cold lingering behind this low pressure. Temperatures dropping back into the 30s at night and, you know, even into Tuesday, not warming up very much. 40s and 50s also here from Rochester back to Buffalo. Uh, Watertown, all the way down to Erie, chilly, cool, damp, kind of gross, and ugly. 
Further to the north and east here, let's look at these temperatures. Uh, again, not uh, too warm here. Temperatures in the 40s and 30s and the higher elevations this afternoon. We're still in the 60s and 70s further to the south across Pennsylvania. But some of that warm air tries to move north heading into Monday and then into Tuesday looking nice up toward Boston all the way to New Hampshire and Maine with the precipitation here not looking too bad. Maybe a few showers trying to work into parts of western New York, western PA as we head into Monday. That lifts north into the northeast and then showers move in with our next area of low pressure and then maybe a little bit of snow mixing in here into the higher elevations back into the central plains we go the southern plains also back into parts of uh, the four corner states you can see just a little bit of snow into the mountains here into colorado otherwise there's your severe weather moving through oklahoma today that pushes all to the east again low pressure wrapping up here across missouri this is the highest risk area for tornadoes it's right ahead of this area of low pressure heading into tonight and then once we move into early Monday morning, that all moves to the east. We do start to dry out. Temperatures will be on the way down, too, heading into this afternoon ahead of our system. Temperatures up into the 70s and 80s. Behind this area of low pressure, winds coming in out of the west and northwest, cooling us down. But that April sun, pretty strong, bouncing back nicely heading into Monday. Further to the north, this is where we'll see a little bit of snow mixing in with the rain. Otherwise, kind of dry here across the Dakotas. Maybe a few showers up in here, up across parts of northern North Dakota around the U.S.-Canadian border. And then another weak system moves in as we head into Monday. That could bring a few showers here into North and South Dakota. Temperatures all over the place. If you can get into the sunshine, that sun's pretty powerful this time of year. Your temperatures will jump up pretty quickly, but under the clouds, it's cold, and especially with that cold air aloft. Yeah, temperatures struggle even on Monday across parts of eastern Wisconsin, uh, well, really eastern Minnesota and into Wisconsin into the 30s and 40s. But that warm air does try to surge a little bit further to the north, especially as we head into Tuesday, back into this mid to upper 60s into the Twin Cities. Back into the southwest, we're dry here, not a lot going on. I mean, I'm going to fast forward this look at this over the next several days, maybe a few showers into Colorado and Utah, otherwise dry. Temperatures today in the 80s across the deserts, upper 80s, close to 90 anyway. A little bit warmer in the higher elevations, too, where, where we just saw some snow. And the snow continues here into the northern Rockies. Rain and snow mix. It's unsettled here, a lot of instability, so we'll continue to see that all the way through at least the first part of the week. And then we get a bit of a dry spell, some ridging taking place here as that happens. We see drier conditions, but that's ahead of the next storm that's going to bring rain and snow into the Pacific Northwest. All right, that's a quick update for you guys. Hope you have a great Easter. Thanks for watching. See you next time.